Let's go, baby. You already know it's freaking Tuesday. Tuesday. Let's get into it. Let's go. Tuesday. Tuesday. All we do is talk. Come to Tuesday. Boy, you don't want to jump. Come to Tuesday. Yo, my bird is going up. Come to Tuesday. And I do it for the love. Come to Tuesday. You know I do it for my sub. Come to Tuesday. And I can never get enough. Come to Tuesday. And I ain't never giving up. Come to Tuesday. What is good? Welcome back to Dunk Tip Dunk Tuesday. Tuesday. Every freaking Tuesday we do this. Look, my channel's all about making cool shit. That's all I want to do. I just want to make cool videos. I want to make inspirational videos. I want to express myself. So if you're into any of that, if you're into just living in the energy that you're creating every moment that you exist, subscribe. And if you want to listen to this on my podcast, I have a weekly podcast, Dunk Tip Tuesday podcast, tons of content everywhere. So Content King just watched Bo Burnham's thing and he's like, what does he say? Daddy made you Daddy made you some content. That's how it feels. That's how I feel when I make content. I just feel like, here you go. I just want to entertain. I just want to have fun. I just want to do this. And one of those ways I want you to live in a higher reality, physically, tangibly, but also mentally and spiritually, is dunking. So today, I want to give you the three common mistakes that are holding back your progress that I'm seeing over and over again, especially recently. So let's go. Number one, something I did for the first five years of my training, which is over training, jumping too much, pushing too much, not listening to your body and just jumping way too much. But yes, jumping a lot is the key to jumping higher. So how do you find that balance? Well, over training, a lot of times when you don't have a good jumping day, you're. this was my case. I didn't have a good jumping day. I didn't jump high. The next day I wanted to do it. And I just kept having jump day after jump day until I had a good jumping day. But I wasn't listening to my body. I wasn't recovering properly. I wasn't doing other things that are accessory workouts like mobility for my ankles and my hips and getting blood flow and just working on my range of motion. I wasn't doing any of that. So understanding uh, that overtraining is a very common thing and understanding your energy levels, which I'll get into in another tip. This is one of the biggest things I'm seeing recently and I'm seeing people try to do. They're trying to lift. They're trying to get stronger. They're trying to get faster all in one. And so the key for not overtraining is simply patience. You have to understand that dunking just like anything takes time. There's a quick skit. What? There's a really cool feature of a human brain, which is how we learn. We learn when we sleep, which I mean by that is if you ever try what I well. What I mean by that is if you ever learned a new skill, you're practicing, you're practicing it. I had this really cool feeling when I was doing skateboarding. I was trying a trick, trying a trick for hours, 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 and then I went to sleep. The next day, I tried that trick, and I got it like first try, and I could just feel like my body already knew the movement. That's because when we sleep, those patterns that we're carving with a new skill get played in our brain as we sleep, and I think there was a study that showed it gets played 20 times faster, so you need sleep. You need sleep not just for your body and your energy, but to learn. Your body needs time to learn. And I know no one wants to hear this, but when you're studying or when you're reading something, when you have gaps, it's actually called, ready for my my intelligence here, my uh, knowledge? What is it called? Uh, Not the placebo, but it's really close to that. It was in the book Limitless by Jim Quick. It was called the para something. One sec. Took me forever. Pomodoro effect. Your brain learns better when you take breaks because it needs time to digest. It needs time to absorb that information and use it. So you can't cram. It just physically doesn't work in your brain. Same is true for all training. Same is true for your body and breaking down muscle. It just makes sense. So if you're starting to dunk now, think very long term. And you will understand this when you start training and you start to make progress. You have to think long term so that way you do what's best for yourself today and not try to jump to those milestones because you're just going to be jumping and falling, jumping and falling, and in a spiral that goes nowhere where we want to go up. A big killer mistake that's really hard to put into words again until you feel it is not max jumping. So number two is not stimulating a max jump within your body. So this is a very hard one to put into words, but if you feel it, you'll understand. And an analogy I like to use is sprinting. If you're running a 40-yard dash and you're trying to run faster, say your time is a five seconds flat, you're trying to break five seconds and you'd be blazing. Trying to break that five second mark, you have to physically push yourself faster than that five second mark. You have to bring full intensity. And the reason I bring that up is because a lot of times I see people, this is very common, they go to get the rim or they even dunk and they get stuck there. And one of the biggest things I ask them about their training is what are you doing to stimulate a max jump? Are you still reaching for something higher? Because a lot of times in our brain, 
everybody has an easy time touching the rim for the first time. Or if they can't touch the rim, they increase to touch the rim. And that's because they have a goal. They have something to reach for, to jump for. But then once you're grabbing the rim or you're dunking, you're not stimulating, say this microphone mic stand is the, <laughs> this microphone mic is the, is the rim, you got to reach for higher. So I say, try to touch your wrist. Notice the, the freaking things on my wrist. I was dunking yesterday. Let's go reach for something, touch something on the backboard. I'm a big fan of throwing a really high toss or a far toss and going for that. You have to do things to help your body know you're trying to reach that next level. And that leads me to number three, probably the most progress impeding factor I see in many people training, and that is energy. More specifically, lacking energy. So, just like I was saying when you need to stimulate that max jump or you're overtraining, a lot of times it's because we're not recovering, but it's also because we don't have that intensity or that energy to push ourselves hard. Now look, you're trying to push yourself to a new level. You're trying to push your mental capacity to get stronger. And for me, I'm trying to get more mobile. So I have to go in these ranges that hurt, that have to extend my body, and they're really tough to keep the right position. My patterns that I've carved in my body are incorrect. Not only do I have to undo them, but I have to carve new ones. So my body wants to be held into the known. Our subconscious brain doesn't want us to thrive. It just wants us to survive. It wants us to keep us safe. So we have to fight that every moment. Now, here's the thing. We need energy to do that. If you don't have the energy to push yourself at a max level, you're not going to get to that stimulus of a max level. So you need to sleep right. You need to eat right. You need to shut up and you need to live the dunk life in all aspects of your life if you really want to go to that crazy level. And so that's why I'm huge on energy because everything I do, I think to myself, when I'm pushing myself super hard, it's, it's a mental war field. What do they call it? A oh, warfare. I almost killed it. Mental warfare, every time I go to the gym, oh, I got to do this again, boom, and I'm making progress now, and I'm proud of myself because I was able to stay in there, and it's basically like staying in a fire. I wrote it on my story today. Everybody wants to get shredded. Nobody wants to sit in a fire. If you want to do these things, you got to do it every single day. You got to stretch hard. You got to lift hard. You got to do it with the right mechanics. You got to think about every single detail, and you got to do it over and over and over again. So that's what it's like. Those are my three keys. If you can do that, you can really make the most progress you can. Stick to the day. It's day-by-day day training. Design your life so you can have the training you want. That's what I did with mine. If you want my coaching in any capacity, I love helping people increase their energy. I love helping people dunk. I love helping people live on another plane of existence. We're just living. We're all crawling around the planet. Thanks for joining. I hope this video helped you. I hope you got some energy from this one, and I hope you have a great freaking day. Make the most of it. This is the only moment that matters. Everything else is just in your mind. It doesn't even exist. It's not even real. So I hope that helps too. Have a good one. See ya. What you doing? Man, I'm just trying to be happy. What you doing? I'm talking being when I'm laughing. What you doing? Chasing dreams, never slacking. What you doing? Get your bumping while I'm at it. What you doing? Temporary life is short.